You're being overly modest. When I, I love it when you're talking to these great drummers and they just throw out, yeah, I played with this person, I did that, and I did that. I played Broadway stuff. Well, you played <laughs> some of the best shows on Broadway. I played a handful. I did a chorus line. I did Grease. I did Footloose. Yeah. I did a national tour of Dreamgirls and just did Newsies, ah. uh, one of the runs of Newsies that closed last year. And actually, I want to tell a story because, and I would be remiss if I didn't say this, these were not my shows. I was a sub, but I did a quite a bit. And the guy who was doing Newsies, Mr. Paul Davis, was one of my former students. He got the gig to play Newsies, and he asked me if I would sub for him. So that goes to show you that what goes around comes around, and you keep that network and circle open, you know, and a lot of stuff that I showed him, he ended up using in the book for the show. Listen, so, be, being a sub, I mean, you have you know, such a busy life going. You know, it's probably hard for you to lock into, because once you get into those shows, you're there forever. Yeah, you have to carve out your time. Yeah, that part of your bit. life is is taken up, sometimes yeah, for is. years, you know? It is, yeah. But being a sub is almost a bigger honor because the last thing a drummer wants to do if they have a gig is sending in a sub <laughs> that doesn't do as good a job as they do. That's for sure. <laughs> and there's politics involved in all of that, right? Sure. Um, so, um, and that's a, whole nother, that's a whole nother hat in terms of being a professional and, and um, you gotta have a very thick skin in this industry, you know? It's, it's you'll meet people who will tell you no more than yes. And for anybody in any social environment, that's a very difficult thing to deal with. Always hearing no, or you're not good enough, or no thanks, or that wasn't right, do it. You know what I mean? So and you have to develop a thick skin, which I did early. You have to take direction from, you know, from people quite a bit. And that's outside of these drumming things, there's the social interactive part that helps you get jobs, helps you get gigs, and be a professional. And you're you know? never done learning. You no. know, it's not that a no just means you're not ready right now. Not ready right now. Yeah. Or, you know, or they like this guy better because they're friends with him or whatever. But I'm also learning always from new stuff. I'm listening to new things that are going on. But it's funny, musically and drumming wise, the more things that I hear now, I, I really can still hear them that were happening a long time ago. Just a little different twist. When you hear drum and bass, it is basically a sped up fatback beat. It's sort of like an R&B thing with a little twist. And, and it's great because you can still hear the past in the new stuff. You really can.